Good day everyone. I am Leslie Ann de Guzman Monje, Senior High School Teacher 2 at La Purisima National High School, La Purisima Nabua Camarines. For this day, I will be discussing about my research entitled Interactive Collaborative Activities in Earth Science for Senior High School. So to start, here is an introduction. So we know that education pays the best investment in a society where competition exists in a wide range of opportunities. In fact, many of us believe that education is the passport to quality life, a key to one's success. When one is educated, he or she is assured of economic stability in the future. And we know that education is a never-ending process of learning, relearning, and unlearning. In response, the Philippine government continuously seeks to support the educational needs of the Filipino learner. So the Depth Ed implemented Rep Republic Act 10533 or we commonly known as the K-12 curriculum. So there is a need for a curricular reform. And one of the core subjects in senior high school, science is given greater emphasis by the educational system because of the fact that science obtain low level of performance not only on national but also on local. So if the student's foundation in science during the lower years is poor, it will be hard for him or her to accustom to the science teaching in senior high school, making it hard to meet the needs of globalization in terms of science and technology. This stated also in Article 14, Section 10 of the 1987 Philippine Constitution, where science and technology is given emphasis or focus. It is said that science and technology is essential for national development and progress. So the government is concerned mostly to our teachers that we need to employ different pedagogies to increase learners' competence. However, we are used to or accustomed to the lecture discussion or the traditional method, which is not appropriate to all kinds of learners. So we need to differentiate because learners today are more active and hands-on than before. The former Secretary of Department of Education, Secretary Gonzalez, said that we should focus on in the science class that is not memorization of facts and scientific content, but training in the process of inquiry and discovery. Thus, there is a felt need for the teachers to practice activities and modern procedures that will draw the students' interest and improve their cognitive activities. My capacity as a science teacher is concerned on how to improve the student's knowledge and proficiency using this interactive, collaborative teaching. In doing so, the learners of today will be ready to face the 21st century environment. Our research problems are as follows. The study aims to develop and validate the interactive collaborative activities in teaching earth science. So it sought to answer number one, what interactive collaborative activities in earth science can be developed and validated. So it is the very aim of the research to develop an activity that is engaging to our students. Number two, what are the pre-test and post-test mean scores in earth science using interactive collaborative teaching and traditional approach? Third one, is there a significant difference between the pre-test and post-test mean scores in the control and experimental group? So section A is said to be the experimental group and section B is said to be the control group. Number four question, what enhanced interactive collaborative activities can be made based from the findings of the study? Now for our theoretical paradigm. The study was rooted from the three important theories, namely David Kolb's experiential learning style theory, Jean Paget's theory of constructivism, and Roger's experimental learning theory. So Kolb's experiential learning style theory states that learning is a process whereby knowledge is created through the transformation of experience. So what's the connection of the model to the study and use of interactive collaborative activities? The teacher as a facilitator will first let the students explore through various activities that are related to the specific topic followed by an explanation that will enhance student learning. And this refers to the feedbacking of the experience activity that leaves an important impression to the learning of the students. The third one is when the students form a general understanding of the occurrence of the experience they have and lastly, applying the knowledge they already have if another same or familiar experience will come. 
Then we have Piaget's Constructivism Learning Theory. This is a philosophy which enhances students' logical and conceptual growth. This underlying concept within the Constructivism Learning Theory is the role which experience or connections with the adjoining atmosphere play in students' education and the discouraging of the passive way of gaining knowledge in which is in line with the present study. Now we have Roger's Experimental Learning Theory. Considers the educator as a facilitator and successful facilitating. As a result of the aforementioned theories, it provides the framework of the present study named Active Learning Theory. It suggests that learners acquire more knowledge through various activities provided by the teacher that serve as a facilitator. So for the conceptual framework, my study adopts the system approach which illustrates the interaction of three important elements which are the input, process, and output. And at the same time, I also have the feedback loop mechanism which also plays an important role in the framework. Let's start with the input. The input of this study refers to the preparation of the topics to be included in the interactive collaborative activities in earth science for senior high school students that is based from the curriculum guide given by the Department of Education. Next is the process. This refers to the conduct of the pretest, giving of the treatment, which is the giving of the interactive collaborative approach and conduct of post-test to both a controlled and experimental group. Then we have the output. The output is based from the findings and result of the study that is an enhanced interactive collaborative activity in uh, science will be prepared. Lastly, we have the feedback loop mechanism. This mechanism is a process of continuous improvement of the output of the study. So here presented is the research methodology. So research design, I made use of the experimental method to determine the data needed in the investigation. So experimental method of research was employed by me to determine the achievement of the students in the pre-test and post-test. My control and experimental groups were GAS A class and GAS B class respectively. So the control group was thought using the traditional teaching and the experimental group with the interactive collaborative teaching. Now, how did I prepare for the interactive collaborative activities? So it is divided into two, the primary phase and the secondary phase. Let us first focus on the primary phase. In the primary phase, the start of the stage of making of the activity is composed of searching of topics in earth science for grade 11 in the curriculum guide given by the depth ed. So developing of in the interactive collaborative activities is done and also a curricular validation is made. So what topics are included? It is adapted from the K-12 basic education curriculum for senior high school curriculum guide. The topics are origin and structure of the earth and earth's materials and processes. The activities in the material was outsourced and patterned from the suggested interactive and innovative teaching strategies. A resource book for 21st century teachers by Dr. Milagros Limborabo and Dr. Heidi Grace Limborabo. Now we have the curricular validation. The curricular validation of the prepared activities was evaluated by three experienced science teachers of La Porimissima National High School and by teachers from a private sector. A questionnaire was employed throughout the validation. To determine the curricular validity of the said activities, a questionnaire was employed and given to the science teachers. Now, we have the secondary phase. What is the objective of this phase? It is to determine the effect of the said activity for senior high school students. The phase includes constructing the test items through the use of the table of specification or TOS, conducting the pre-test and post-test itself, administering the experiment, and scoring the test. Statistical tools used in the study are the following, the weighted mean and the t-test. Why weighted mean? The weighted mean employed to determine the average of the result of the curricular validation of the interactive collaborative activities evaluated by science teachers. 
then yt test the t test for correlated sample is used when comparing the means now we have the result for number one the interactive collaborative activities in earth science for senior high school develop curricularly valid for having obtained an average weighted mean of 4.20 which is interpreted as very much valid so what is included in the set results of curricular validation for the activity so the criteria are subject matter social cultural content language readability activities and strategies the second result pre-test and process results of the control group and experimental group the pre-test was administered to the controlled and experimental group to find out the energy competence in the earth science of the students before any treatment is given the control group was exposed to traditional teaching approach for the experimental group with interactive collaborative activities the mean scores of the control and experimental group in the pre-test and post-test the mean score of the control group in the pre-test is 18.26 while in the experimental experimental group it's 20.02 it shows the result of the post test of both the control and experimental groups where the control group earned a mean score of 19.91 while the experimental group obtained a mean score of 27.35 so it means that comparing the pre-test and post-test mean scores of the control there is an increase of 1.56 while the experimental group increased was 7.44 the results led to the conclusion that the two groups improved their science concept and skills but it is evident that the experimental group performed better than the control group the interactive collaborative activities in earth science for senior high school would help enhance students conceptual understanding in the subject here are the following conclusions drawn from the findings of the study. So in line with number one result, conclusion, the material is curricularly valid, appropriate, and aligned to the content requirements of grade 11. In line with the number two findings, the conclusion is the pre-test and post-test mean score of the experimental group were higher than the control group. Hence, the interactive collaborative teaching is effective in enhancing the conceptual understanding and science process skills of the student. Then, we have um, number three conclusion which is also in line with the number three findings the pre and post test results of the control and experimental group vary significantly the mean score of the experimental group is higher than the control group and lastly the number four conclusion which is also in line with the number four findings the said interactive collaborative activities in earth science for senior high school was designed to enhance the conceptual understanding of the grade 11 student what are the recommendation the recommendation is also in line with the question with the findings and with the result so number one the interactive collaborative activities in earth science for senior high school students may be used as a teaching material to enhance the students conceptual understanding and mastery of science concept when using experimental research method the researcher should establish the homogeneity or the control group and experimental group so that the study would arrive at a valid and reliable result or number three the traditional teaching method is effective in the teaching learning process but the use of the interactive collaborative teaching makes the teaching method more effective. For number four, the interactive collaborative activities in earth science for senior high school students can be used as a material. A material to what? To enhance the teaching learning process. But at the end, there is no specific teaching method that will fit all students' needs. So this is not a one-size-fits-all case. So our students varied, our students are unique individuals, so we need also to use differentiation. It is still in the creativity, the versatility, and skills of a teacher that will make every classroom discussion a success. So with regard to the use of teaching material, the teacher can use other teaching materials from other sources aside from what is presented. So that's all. Thank you very much. Here are the references for the books for the journals, periodicals, and papers, for the internet materials. So once again, I am Leslie Anne Guzman Monjes, Senior High School Teacher 2 at La Purisima, Nabua, Camarines Sur. Thank you and more power.